And we begin with snow continuing to fall in the high country. This is a live look from Sierra Tahoe. The resort says they received 10 inches of snow yesterday. Several more inches of snow are expected to fall by the end of the day as well. Good afternoon. I'm John Dabkovich. The snow falling as low as 3,000 feet right now. Chain controls are still in effect on I-80 from Gold Run to Donner Lake because of slick road conditions there. So that means travel going through the mountains this afternoon is going to be going slow. This comes with the territory, you know. <laughs> it's all right, though. It should work out. Right now, there are no restrictions on Highway 50, but officials remind drivers to carry chains in case the conditions change. Let's get to Lisa now with a look at the weather forecast and how long all this is going to last. Hey, good, good afternoon to you, John. Thanks so much. It's so pretty to see the snow falling all morning long, and as you mentioned, it is still falling at this hour. I peeked out just our window here, and we are starting to see a little sunshine. So much different picture here on the valley floor. All right, so here's what it looks like on satellite radar. You can see that system moving on in, moving across the region. So on and off showers across the valley, but the snow continues to fall in the higher elevations. We'll zoom in a tiny bit and you can kind of see it looks like Auburn. Auburn's really been getting quite a bit of rain all morning long. You can see where that slushy mix is. We saw those snow levels down to about 3000 feet as you mentioned. So right around Alta we had a truck for Dave Grasshoff uh, up in the elements today and he said he started to see it right around Colfax. You can see still getting that slushy mix there in Colfax. Uh, looks like a Baxter also seeing a slushy mix in Grass Valley also getting a little bit of a slushy mix. Like we said, one to two feet of fresh powder in some spots and we we could pick up another five to eight inches of fresh snow today. All of it associated with the area of low pressure that is still just off the coast working its way on inland here. That'll happen today. Once that moves on out, we'll start to see some clearing. So we'll show you uh, what it looks like here as we head into the next couple of days and of course the weekend ahead. We'll show you that in just a few minutes, John. Okay, well, Lisa, thank you.